algebraic ratios. This is a difficult question. Can you answer it? Let's go through it together. Five marks. P and Q are two numbers such that P is greater than Q. When you subtract five from P and Q, the answers are in the ratio five to one. When you add 22 P and Q, the answers are in the ratio five to two. Find the ratio PQ in its simplest form. Okay, so it's important that they tell us that P is greater than Q because that's the one that we're gonna put on the left side, okay? So they're saying, look, if you take this ratio P to Q, if you add five to both of these, it becomes five to one. So five plus P plus P and five plus Q is equal to five to one. So that's the first thing. And the second one is saying if you, oh, sorry, if you subtract five, my bad. MB, 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 M to the B, M to, so we have Q, P and Q, if we subtract five from them, we get the ratio of five to one. That should be an equal sign. This guy's bugging. And if we add 20 to both, the ratio becomes five to two. With these two, we need to somehow find out P and Q. What is this giving you vibes of? Well, should be giving you vibes of simultaneous equations. We have two equations, two unknowns. How do we find the equations here? Well, there is an equal sign. We somehow have to, to rewrite this as something we can solve with a proper equation, isn't it? How do we do that? Well, all you need to do, guys, my top tip is to think about the Eastern Europeans. The way we write ratio and interpret it is different to how the Eastern Europeans do. And I learned that from uploading maths reels to Instagram, okay? Because I've got a big community over there from all over the world. Over there, the ratio symbol actually means divide. So you can think of this as P minus five divided by Q minus five equals five divided by one. And the same thing for the other one. And from there we can solve, okay? So from the first equation, yeah, you can literally do this. Look at that. And then you've got your equations. P minus five divided by Q minus five, we would write that as an algebraic fraction. P minus five over Q minus five equals five divided by one, which is just five. And from there, we can just solve that. When I say solve, I mean rearrange it in a way that we can then solve. So we protect anything with more than one term, and then we get rid of denominators. This says divide by Q minus five, so we're gonna multiply both sides by Q minus five, which basically just brings this up, okay? So we're gonna bring that up. We get P minus five is five lots of Q minus five, expand. P minus five is five Q minus 25. And then we're gonna add that 25, uh, add that five to both sides. So we get P is five Q minus 20. Nice. For the second one, doing the same thing, P minus 20, P plus 20, sorry. Over Q plus 20 is five divided by two. And then we're gonna protect now here, not so simple. We can't just times through by this. We have to times through by the two as well. So you guys might know it's cross multiplication, which I don't like saying at GCSE because it draws up many misconceptions here. But we're multiplying both sides by this denominator of two and multiplying both sides by this denominator of Q plus 20. All right, the Q plus 20 cancels and here the two cancels. So we're left with two lots of P plus 20 is five lots of Q plus 20. So we expand, 2P plus 40 is 5Q plus 100. Now from here, I don't really have a preference as to how I do this. I'm just gonna minus the 40. So we have 2P is 5Q. Subtracting 40, we get plus 60. Then we might as well do a substitution. P is this, just sub it right in. Two lots of P, which is 5Q minus 20, is 5Q plus 60. Expand, 10Q, 10Q very much, minus 40, is 5Q plus 60. 
So we're going to subtract 5q and we're going to add 40. Okay, so subtracting 5q, we get 5q. Then we're going to add the 40, we get 100. Divide by 5, q is 20. And from there, we can work out p by summing into here. p is 5q minus 20, 5 times, uh, so 20, right? 5 times 20 is 100, minus 20 is 80. They want the ratio p to q, so the ratio is 80 to 20. Divide uh, by 20, we get 4 to 1. And that is our answer, my friends. So yeah, guys, if you learned something today, I'd really appreciate it. Hit the like button. If you were to attempt this on your own, how do you think you'd do? Like the video if you learned something today. <laughs> um, what else? Subscribe for more maths content. And if you're interested in my GCSE maths co content or courses, there is more details in the description. Feel free to join the Learn Gang Reddit page to submit your own maths questions and get feedback from the community. I'll see you in the next video. Nice.